it's been a long time since I filmed. I got a new phone with a new camera and I hope it looks pretty good. I'm hoping that it picks up sound a little bit better. Today we are headed to South Haven about an hour drive to pick up some bike racks for a public art project that I'm involved with. It's a project with 18 bike racks and 18 artists and it's been going on for a while since the bike racks were in production but they're finally done and they've been powder coated and they're ready to pick up so we're on our way to pick that up hopefully it fits in the car i think it's super cool that my artwork is going to be installed in a town that i grew up going to it's a super popular beach town here in michigan so it's really exciting to think that lots of people are going to see it. My design is very spring and summer inspired where there's a lot of regrowth in Michigan after the cold winter. I wanted to design something that was really uplifting and beautiful to look at while you're biking throughout nature. We've still got a little bit of a drive so I will see you once we get there. Since my bike rack design required a proposal, I thought I'd take you through mine. My bike rack design is what comes to mind when thinking of spring and summertime in Michigan. It's a time when animals of all kinds start to emerge and the sun shining makes me feel like I can breathe again. I think anyone spending time in a warm, sunny Michigan can relate. There is a feeling of curiosity, exploration, and beautiful color everywhere. Growing up on 15 acres of field land, I wanted to include some things I remember my spring and summertime by. Things that I loved seeing as a kid and still cherish as an adult. Some of these include the fawn seen along walking paths and trails, the grape hyacinth that blooms along paths and in gardens, the rabbit's nest that I would come across and keep watch over in the grasses, the daffodils that I see nestled along the roadside the eye-catching swallowtail butterflies, and the sunsets that make you want to pause time and sit with them forever. I hope that this imagery resonates with those who come across it and encourages them to notice the small moments they have with nature, the moments that will stay with them for years to come. Hey guys, it's the same day. I just picked up the bike rack and got it back to my apartment. I'm working with what I have here, so I'm working out in my little backyard space, but I had to put up some sort of sun protection because it's now about 90 degrees out and I have to be working outside <laughs> in this heat. So not... I'm killing mosquitoes as we speak. I just sanded down the powder coat with these buffing pads. The point was just to get the powder coat a little less smooth to give it a little bit of grip for the paint to hold onto. So I'll show you what it's looking like. All right, I've got it all buffed down. I just used a light buffing pad so that it didn't take the powder coat off. It just slightly scuffed it so that the paint would have something to adhere to. And let's hope and pray that the paint adheres well. I have a lot of work to do with what my design entails. I'm gonna get to work. Last night I had to bring in the bike rack and put it somewhere so it was out of the elements and our apartment is so small that it went at the foot of our bed. Oh, pretty funny thing to see.
Hey guys, it's been about a week since you saw me finish up hand painting this bike rack. I now have a clear coat to seal it all in with and I'm going to do that now so that I can get it returned to South Haven for them to install the racks. I'm super excited about this project and glad to be finishing it up. I'll give you the full tour of the rack once it's done. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've been enjoying these process videos. I've been having a great time putting together a time capsule of each one of these special projects and all the work that goes into them. If you'd like to see more of my work, you can follow me on any social media platform at To Draw Attention, where I post almost every day. If you're interested in purchasing my work, you can find it for sale at todrawattention.com. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.